Hello and welcome back to the Home Improvement Channel UK. So you've decided you wanted to fit your own vinyl, or you just wanted to watch me mess one up. So the tools required to fit your vinyl, you're going to need a spoon and a banana. No, just joking. <laughs> We're going to need two knives. We're going to need a straight knife. And we're also going to need a hook blade. The hook blade is very important for a vinyl. It stops show when you cut into it, it stops all the white showing. That's why you should only use a straight blade when you can't get into it with a hook. I'm gonna today I'm gonna be using impact tape and spray adhesive just to prime the edges, but I'll show you that once I'm on it. You're gonna also need a tape measure if you have a patterned vinyl floor. The reason why is obviously you need to line it up with the skirtings. So these are the selection you need to install your vinyl floor. Not a big selection, so you DIYers should definitely know, definitely should be able to get your hands on some of this sort of stuff for very cheap. Before you start, always ensure that you clean the floor. So you get your great, great, great granddad's broom. Laying on is extremely clean. Grab yourself some multi-purpose adhesive, just like I said in the beginning, and now you just spray this around the edge. This is just mainly to get rid of any dust or anything like that to help make the impact tape stick. Right, this is the bit where you prime it. So when you prime it, just be really careful not to go too close because the glue has a tendency to flick up the skirt ends and it won't show until the dirt sticks to it. So just be really careful, take your time. It's a little bit easier because I'm just doing it on a demonstration board. But for you, you'll be a little bit more tight, a little bit more tidy. So just take your time, spray glue it, don't get up the skirt, main tip. Right, same again around the toilet, let's prime it up. Don't get the glue around the toilet. If you do, I'd advise washing it off before you start. Right, now you get your double side tape, or your impact tape, sorry. You stick one side, especially with a long wall. Drag it all the way without sticking it. Pull it off, stick it this side, and then just push it flat. Right, with the toilet, same again. So you just stick loads of little squares, trying to make it, I usually do it like this. Just try and make it as neat as possible. All the way round. Woohoo! Right, let's just do you a couple more, because I don't want to bore you. And then we will move on to the next process. One sec. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Now we're all prepped, ready for a vinyl. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Just like that. We got a vinyl. Now that you've got your vinyl, what I always recommend is go up to the room, measure it, Go outside of the bathroom first, cut it down so you've just got, let's say 100 mil around everywhere, 10 centimeters, and then take it back up to the bathroom because it's much more easier to maneuver if it's cut down because they always come larger. Right, grab yourself a tape measure. And now what you want to do is get the longest wall in your bathroom, which in my case is this side, this side, it don't actually fit. But what you want to do is, See these grout lines? That's going to be these lines here. This is going to be my marker. So, so basically, I'm going to get as far as I can get straight on this piece of wall here. So, what I'm going to do is look, I've got 145 there, and I've got 150 there. So, this final is actually wonky. So, let me straighten it up. Now I've stopped boring people with trying to line it up. We've got it all lined up. I've got a 140 there. And a 140 there. Now that I've got that all lined up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel back this tape just a little bit. This and just stick it. I've still got I can still pull it out here, but I'm just gonna stick it here so when I'm cutting this section, it don't move. Because I've had it before when I didn't stick it, cut around the toilet and it slightly moves. And then that way your vinyls you've you've just had it. Now after a lot of swearing, pulling off the double side tape, just like you should, what you do is you you make sure there's no bubbles again, slide it up to the first bit of tape. And now, you have to go centre, so you get your hook blade, you need your hook blade for this bit. You, you hook it in here, and then 
be sure not to hit the vinyl below and then just pull it towards you like this oh yeah probably not straight but you know here's what it is Whoop. and that's the split you need to make to go around the toilet right now this is the important part getting around the toilet so now we need to start making relief cuts so what you do is come up to your toilet and just make the cameraman just fell over right you just make loads of little triangles just like this just take your time at this stage just enjoy it don't don't rush it it's not about time and then just literally and you're slowly working the vinyl round. so basically just push it and once you get it so far so just keep going come around it oh try not to crease it you will crease it but don't worry loads of little relief cuts and then once you're so far around so you should start ending up with some sort of little pattern like that and then once you get halfway around you throw it around like that don't when you're at this stage don't try and push it around because it will just bubble back up and then we'll just keep going flicking the flicking the lick of the stick of the flicking flicking the lick of the dicking and this is what you do you just slowly work your way around just keep cutting and cutting and cutting and it, it actually it's quite satisfying to cut vinyl to be honest especially cushion vinyl not, not outro so just keep cutting all the way around oh we're nearly there we're nearly there oh and we're round so any little bits that float just get them out of the way get any little accidents that are too tall and you should end up with something that looks like this and then repeat the process this side i'm going to speed this up i've showed you one side i'm just gonna whoop, all the way around i've done the exact same on the other side and then what we're going to do is at the back you tape two bits of tape and this is for when it comes round we've got something to join onto and then the pattern should line up behind the toilet perfectly not that anyone's ever going to see it but at least you know that you've done a good job and you've lined the pattern up now we've got a load of vinyl in a corner i'll show you how to do it come in well, what you do is you get your two fingers and you push it right into the corner and then you put your hook blade again and you tuck it right into the corner lift it up and do a little v slit it's called a relief cut again but then now it will go right into that corner and this helps for when you cut it right now we come back and we pair our tape off ensuring when you put these down just make sure you don't gently push it out but look you just got to keep checking because by literally you're fighting bubbles all the time but it, this is quite flat anyway so we don't mind but this is just you just push it roll it gently into it now now we've done our corner now we're going to show you how to cut with the hook blade right so when you get your hook blade you put you get it so it's literally pushed so the hook blade's flat against the skirting and you're going to push it as hard as you can get it. don't snap the blade though but just push it as hard as you can get it and i promise you you shouldn't you shouldn't cut it short so you just keep pushing like this try and get the angle try and get the angle so you can see my hand so that's what they're gonna have to try and copy are you nice and low on that yeah so when you're cutting it make sure you just ensuring you keep pushing it pushing it just you can even just have a little check see what you're doing see if he's cutting a little bit short when you're going along so just that way you know that you ain't going to waste your vinyl oh i've come over that pin i've just put in with vinyls they always expand so you have to literally leave a blade's width all around the edge so you might think it looks short but it's not so like now you'd think oh i'm finished this is done no you have to run it over it again hard again like this and look so can you see that come in tight you can see there's a little blades width all around the edge that's how it's got to be so let's just keep going you should be able to peel little bits off like that and you should have a little little tiny blades width all the way around look just and don't even be shy and to be honest to be honest even if you cut it a little bit short you always seal these in anyway because if water gets underneath it will just bubble anyway so just don't worry, even if you've slipped or sank and had a little bit and it looks a bit, it don't look so good as this. Or worse, like this. <laughs> right, this stage, again, we're going to cut the toilet in. So what you do is, you get that same angle and you push as hard as, as hard, like really quite firm. 
and then that way it will follow it round. There's not too much, just just and then it should, that's halfway round. And then what you do is you just peel all your little relief cuts off and it should fall over just like that. Right again, halfway from the toilet, push as hard as you can, and it should just guide round. My blade's really blunt at this stage, but don't worry, it still should be alright. Just push hard and just follow it round. And then just blub 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 blub. And now we need to so say even if even if it's ramped up a little bit like this, we'll just give it one more. Push as hard as you can. Then you get your last two tools, which is your banana and your spoon.